Okay everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, I came early to the beach. I meant to be a little bit earlier, but I just couldn't make it. Uh, maybe next week. Um, today, we're gonna talk about the seven best tips on how to get closure from a breakup. So, this is my happy place. Um, I love coming early to the beach when there's still nobody or almost nobody here. Um, and just kind of be in nature, be in the water. And um, it's, it's where I feel at my best normally. Um, anyway, seven best tips on how to get closure from a breakup. Now, in the past 22 years, I've had, I believe, six serious relationships and out of four of them, I, I really had a hard time finding closure. So I learned a lot of things and I'm just gonna share them with you today. Um, the first one I think is very simple and we can go very quickly through it, is assess the options that you have to find closure. And from my experience, there are three options. The first one is simply, um, is, your, is your ex available to talk about it? Um, because usually the things that you feel you need closure for, uh, only they can really provide closure with some really specific explanations and answers. So if you're still on good terms, if you're still speaking, with your ex, then just ask if if they want to talk about it and and see if that can help you. Now, at least in my experience, that will most likely not happen. <laughs> so then the second option that you have is find find professional help, find a, a psychologist, a therapist, whoever you feel comfortable with, or even just a friend who has a lot of life experience. And, and get some tips, you know. Um, sometimes a professional can help because they're not, they don't know you personally and they are trained to, to make you think in a certain way and to ask yourself a lot of good questions. Um, so that can definitely help. I, I tried it. It didn't really have the result that I was looking for. So in the end, I just did it on my own by reading a lot of books um, and by especially developing myself spiritually. That is what really helped me. Um, and then when you go through that development, at some point you, you come to the conclusion that closure really only can come from yourself because it doesn't matter what answer your ex gives you, you would still be dissatisfied because what you really wanted was to still be with your ex, right? So, so you're actually looking for getting back with your ex instead of getting closure and and that's why you continue to search for answers and all those answers will not be responded to in, in the way that you hope or expect right so closure can only come from from yourself by going deep within by detaching from the situation and um, and then at some point just to move forward then the next point is allow yourself to feel sad, right? Often we, we, we try to push through. We try to just brush it off or something. And, and that's just not possible. Um, so give yourself time, be, be kind to yourself. Um, don't think you shouldn't be sad because there's so many fishes in the sea, you know? It's not true. It's not true, and especially in these days. 
There's a lot of fishes, but most of them are, are sharks or piranhas or, you know. Uh, I don't know if piranhas are in the sea, probably not. <laughs> um, so allow yourself to feel sad, but don't dwell in the, in the feeling of sadness, right? Feeling sad is okay. That's part of life. It is what will happen time over time and, and people pass away, there, there's discussions and fights with friends and anything can happen that makes you feel sad every now and then. But as long as you don't play with the thought of sadness and as long as you don't, there's a train passing here if you can hear that, I'm not sure if you will be able to hear that. but. Um, so as, as long as you, you don't allow or as long as you don't play with the thoughts, as long as you don't stop and entertain the thought, you just observe the thought of sadness. Just observe it and, and be in it, be with it at that moment. But when you grab the thought of sadness in your mind, then what will happen is that you will perpetuate it over and over and over again and it will it will cause another thought on top of that and then you take ownership of your sadness but in a way that that is not really natural and that is not really healthy for you either right because you make it bigger you you are forcing it upon yourself over and over and over again and you, you don't give yourself the space to step out of it. So just observe the sadness. Be in the sadness, but don't, don't play with the thought. Don't, don't grab the thought in your mind. Then the next one, it feels pretty obvious, right? Stop all contact with your ex. I think even if, you, if your intention to be on good terms with your ex, um, it's really good to, to stop all that contact for a while, for a year, two years, who knows. Um, from those four relationships that I had a, a hard time disconnecting from and, and, and finding closure, um, in the end, I think with one, two, yeah, with three of them, I've, I've regained contact, uh, not regular contact, but we had some conversations after that and it was always friendly and, and it was just a good connection. So that is possible, um, but not when you're still actually wanting to be with your ex. So as long as you're not really over that, then it doesn't make any sense to be in, in, in touch because it will only make you want to have your questions answered and you will keep it open all the time. Um, so don't do that. And then the next point is also don't become a stalker, especially in the, in the time that we're living now with social media. It is so easy to to find more information about your ex, even if you're not, if you're not friends anymore, if you're not connected on the networks, you can still find information. And I think I, I, I'm guilty of, of doing that. I don't think, um, I mean, I don't consider myself to be a stalker, fortunately. Um, but to keep that connection alive, I, I did sometimes just, try to find information about her and often the information that that you find does not contain what you would really like to see um, so it, in the end it will only hurt yourself and and the, I know why we are doing this right we we try to keep that connection alive we try to maintain that relationship, that, that energy between us uh, continuing. And we don't allow ourselves to, to understand that it's over. So by somehow still knowing something about your ex, 
something that you found somewhere on the internet or maybe even um, being in the vicinity of, of him or her, um, talking to his or her friends, um, it, it just doesn't allow yourself to get over it. And um, in the end, you know, even even that is stalking. Um, it, it's, it, love is free. Love uh, allows people their own space in every every circumstance in every situation and um, all the time trying to find that information about him or her is, is suffocating both for you and for your ex even though they're maybe not aware of it uh, energetically they will definitely feel that so don't do it, it it's it's only bad for yourself and that brings us to the next point. There's, there's a, a fine line between attachment and obsession. And attachment is, is when you... Of course, in every relationship, there is some sort of attachment, right? You, 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 you are in love and you spend some time together, months, years. It doesn't matter. But you've always created some sort of an attachment. And obsession is when, when, when it, it is, is the main topic of your life, the main topic of your thoughts, and sometimes even of your dreams. And um, when, when you allow yourself to, to put yourself in, a, in an unhealthy situation, uh, then it becomes an obsession. So um, be, be careful and of course stalking, uh, trying to find information about your ex over and over again is definitely an, a behavior that is part of obsession. So um, be careful with that and, and try to be very aware of, of your thoughts and of your behavior to make sure that um, you don't go from attachment to obsession. And then what, what I found is <clears throat> if it's real love, if it's true love, true love is eternal. It doesn't change, it doesn't die. It was already there before you met your ex. So trying to find closure from true love is impossible. So, try to, to understand if, if it was real love, if it was true, unconditional love or not. Um, most relationships will not be like that. Most relationships you will be able to get over it after some time. Um, but some, it's just not. And it's okay, because you can move forward. But instead of finding closure, I highly recommend to try to find acceptance. Acceptance is di something different from closure. Acceptance is, is that you are okay with the situation. The love is still there and it will never go away because real love is forever. But uh, as long as you can accept the situation, you can move on, you can be with someone else, you can be happy and you can fall in love again, it's not a problem. But trying to find closure from something that cannot have closure ever, because it's eternal, will, will be frustrating and it will cause you a lot of suffering. Because you don't understand why you are not able to find closure. But after some years, just think about it. You haven't been able to find closure, but, but have you already accepted the situation? And maybe it's just as, as simple as that. Accept where you are right now, because that's where you were going to be anyway. So definitely acceptance. You, you need acceptance in all situations, right? Of life, not only in a closure or, or after a breakup. Acceptance 
is is key to happiness and especially when you're searching for closure before searching for closure I would recommend you to search for acceptance within yourself and remember the answer is always deep within yourself always that will never ever change so those are my seven best tips those are the ones that help me to move forward after a breakup and um, those are the things that have allowed me to feel much better again and and to you know to find my happy place here so um, I'm gonna try to try to get a swim before more people arrive it's it's already getting busier uh, and I still need to re record the Spanish video as well but anyway I'll see you guys hopefully next week and uh, have a great great week ahead and thank you for being here